Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is October the 10th of 2023, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. For those of you who have just celebrated Thanksgiving weekend, I hope you had a great and blessed time with family and friends. Thanksgiving is a wonderful time to remind us that we have much to be thankful for and that as we focus on the blessings rather than our challenges in life, we can experience the joy of the Lord. Just a reminder to let you know that if you would like a readable copy of this word, you can scroll down the front page of my website and find the daily word there. If you are interested in reviewing past words, please click on the archives. I thank all of you for subscribing to this channel and following me as I share these videos with you. For those of you who are new, if you enjoy the content of this video, please take a moment to subscribe and click the notification bell for notification of further videos. As with many of the words the Lord has shared with us, He is encouraging us that He is on the move, that those things we see around about us that can discourage us and bring us down should be put in perspective, that as we focus on Him and what He is doing, we can be lifted up in our spirits and given strength to be overcomers and not let worldly affairs drag us down. In this word today, the Lord is giving us a message to encourage us not to be distracted, not to be sidetracked, but to keep our eyes on Him, draw near to Him, and receive understanding from Him of what His plan and heart is for His people through these trying times. This word is titled, Do Not Be Sidetracked. I'll begin by reading scripture. Luke 4, verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because He has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free. In this scripture, Jesus is sharing his mandate, his mission, to proclaim good news to the captives, news of their recovery, good news to those who are being oppressed by the devil, telling us that he has been anointed to bring freedom and liberty to those in bondage. But this anointing was not just for Jesus. Jesus tells his disciples that they too have this anointing in his name to do the same works that he has done, and even greater works. And so that also extends to the body of Christ in this day. The Lord has been raising up a people who have this anointing to do the works of Christ. I'll begin reading this word. In this day I am moving my pawns forward, says the Lord. I am moving my armies across the land to bring healing and salvation to multitudes. Do not say that it is hopeless, that there is no fruit from your labor. You do not see what I see. You do not understand that I am accomplishing great feats in this day through the obedience of my faithful ones who refuse to be sidetracked by the wicked 
and continued to press toward the goal of the high calling. I have called many to come away with me into heavenly realms, to taste of my goodness and to grow in understanding. I have formed for myself a holy nation, a people after my own heart, and it is in and through these that I shall accomplish the purposes of my heart, for I am taking these into the depths of understanding and immersing them into such an awareness of my presence, they will stand in awe. This is the day when I shall shower my blessings upon men, and all will see my favor upon my elect. All will know that I have brought my own into the fullness of my spirit, and that I am walking my bride out for all the world to see. I shall take her to the ends of the earth, and display my splendor through her, says the Lord. All will know that I am at work in this day to bring the nations to the foot of the cross. All will experience the power of my resurrection and know that a change has taken place. Watch to see how I take my own into places of darkness to shine forth my radiance. This is the witness I am sending forth in this day, a witness of my glory in the earth. Turn your eyes upon me, and do not look to the left or to the right. I will lead you, guide you, and direct you. I will take you into the places of my choosing to dispense my fragrance. Ministry will flourish. I am opening doors to walk you through. Go in my name. I will send you abroad and into those places of my choosing. Stay alert. Keep focused on the nations. I am moving you into prime position to declare my handiwork. I am ushering you into a role as my representatives to the nations. Soon the doors will open and you will walk through. And I will prepare you for this, says the Lord. I will clothe you with garments of love and peace and send you out. I will keep you in perfect peace and supply you with all that you are in need of. You will fall behind in no good thing. Just as I promised, I am taking my bride down the runway and putting her on display. Prepare for what is ahead. Be ready with your suitcase packed. I will give you a message for each nation I send you to. I am establishing a network of connections. I will give you contacts and connections through which my word shall be sent. As I connect you with those of my choosing, the network will firm up. So do not lose sight of those I have put you in touch with, but firm up the connections. I will show you what you need to do, moment by moment, step by step. Trust me. Trust my lead. Reserve for you are riches untold. I am opening my storehouses to you and releasing my abundant blessings upon you. Your feet are prepared with the gospel. Wherever you go, you shall take the truth with you. You think that you do not measure up. But I tell you, I have measured out the full measure to you. You are fully equipped for the mandate, says the Lord. Tell those around you that I will lead and direct, that I will open and close doors, that I will make a way where there seems to be no way. I will send you to the nations. I will open doors on your behalf and usher you abroad and into places you never dreamed possible. I have my hand upon you. I have chosen you as my ambassadors, and I will send you to those places of my choosing. Great and marvelous are my ways, too great 
for you to comprehend. In this word today, the Lord is telling us that he has been raising up a holy nation of people who have his heart, who are tuned in to what his intentions are for the nations. He is telling us that he is taking these into depths of understanding and into an experience with his presence so that they would stand in awe. Once again, the Lord is telling us that he wants to shine his bride forth, that the light radiating from her will be displayed for all to see, that this is a witness of the glory of God upon his people. The Lord is telling us that we are his ambassadors, that we represent him to the people around us, and that he is enlarging our realms of influence, opening doors for us to walk through and carry out the mandate he's called us to. And the Lord is encouraging us who may think that we are insignificant, that we do not measure up and cannot carry this mandate, that he has equipped us with everything we need to carry out his mission to bring the nations to the foot of the cross. May we all press toward this goal of the high calling and not be sidetracked by the chaos we see around us. God has a plan. He's carrying it out. And he is using us as his chosen people to accomplish great feats. I hope this word today encourages everyone hearing it to keep our eyes on Jesus, to draw closer to him, to come into those depths of understanding he wants to take us into, to taste of the power of his presence, to carry it to the nations. Though we see much turmoil round about us and we could be in constant fear, the Lord has told us not to be sidetracked, not to be distracted by it. This is the day the Lord is showering his blessings upon us, that his name may be glorified through us. Thank you for listening today. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.